Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Two Point Hospital where we're going to crack on it here and try and get to wave 10 of um, of Topless Mountains. I'm going to unpause it. I've put a couple of staff in the training rooms, right, okay? So thanks all to the feedback, first of all, we got from the last episode. And um, a few nice tips. One said that the queues don't really matter. They will, they will slowly go down and people will get through. But the other thing to notice is that people come together. So as soon as the queues are done throw your assistants into the staff room you know they're they're done there's nothing else they're going to be doing in this in this uh, level so uh, that's actually really good advice i think so hopefully uh benjamin offy his name was that's a fantastic name <laughs> so hopefully we'll be um we'll be able to to, to take on wave three we're gonna, we'll see how we get on here it comes anyway let's see let's see if it's a bit worse than last time uh, 20 people cure rate 55 percent okay let's get them through the door because there's not much we can do until they kind of come in. Okay, so here we go. So you're uh are you one of our um Diagnosis GP? There you go. You're gonna get yourself straight in there. Okay, and then our other doc, I think, is on a bit of a break. So let's see how you're getting on. Your diagnosis no, you're our psychiatrist, is it you? Your oh no, you're our di you're our psychiatrist. You there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Pick his up yourself in there sorry you can have a break later so there's our two gps they'll uh hopefully start to get through them pretty quickly who are you are you going for a break treatment nurse okay hurry up though yeah it's kind of all about managing them don't you come out of here oh, you're looking for work that's okay okay that person just pulled out a magic wand for some reason Okay, people are okay here, they can get through, can't they? So you're a diagnostic nurse, so you need to get yourself in there. Um, you're having a bit of a break, aren't you? Janice is fine, we'll leave you to it. You've got a day left on your break, so as soon as that runs out on a break, get yourself in there. Because it won't be long before you need it. Uh, otherwise, Really, it's all about sort of getting these through. One thing I do want to do is if we've got any money coming in. Oh, yeah, we've got revenue coming in. Okay. What I'm tempted to do is start working on a couple of good doctors. Okay. We've got two here that are both ready for training. Okay. So I'm going to hire you. I'll throw you in there. And we're going to give you GP1. And we'll bring Huggles in to do it. Um, I want both of you, though. Hire you as well. There we go. You are going to be coma to awesome docs. Okay, so also available you. Uh, we'll do the course first. General Huggles. Start training. Okay. And then that way. Revenue is really low there. What's that all about? It's gone down to 1,000. I don't understand. Staff promotion. Yeah, sure. Hopefully... People will start moving through. It's We've got one cure. That was a quick one, wasn't it? That must have been straight to pharmacy or something. But what I'm going to, definitely going to do... The problem is is that once these are trained, they, they, they need the they need stuff here, look, before they can get uh, the next one. They need um, experience. So what I think we'll probably do is, have, is get a third... Probably a third GP office, I guess. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's uh, let's copy it, and it'll go. Hmm, it's not great, is it? There. Let's. Uh, I suppose we could do that. And oh, I think we've got a frog. Uh, I think we've got a frog rain going on. Yeah, look, <laughs> that's neat. <laughs> There we go, third GP office for you for next time. Okay, so there we go. There's nobody in the queues now, so get yourself a break. Uh, well, you, there we go. Do, do, do. Okay, Janice is going to start clearing back frogs. Pest control. Uh, what are you? And your pest control as well. Okay, so rooms. Animal magnetism. There we go. Now this, if I remember rightly, can be quite a long 
within room. No, it can't. It has to be four by four. That's weird. Um, okay, let's just pause the game while we get it built. I thought we could do quite a long, thin one for this, but never mind. Never mind. Let's get an extinguisher in there for it. Let's get a small aircon unit in there for it. Let's get by the door here. There we go. Uh, window. I don't think we're going to get this up to a massive level, but we'll definitely get it. Well, I really, we don't need coffee and stuff because they're going to be coming in cured and clearing up, aren't they? So let's just put a few nice posters on the wall. Instead, we'll see if we can get it up to level three. Somebody in the comments said, "Oh, why don't you just use the the gold stars to stick everything up to level th to five? And I, I, yeah, we did that a little, but we we weren't happy with it, were we? We weren't happy with what it was doing for us. It felt a bit cheaty. Cheaty, cheaty. Okay, what do you need? Are you a doc or a nurse or what? A nurse. I think we've got three nurses at the moment so I think we, we're probably okay with that let's uh, throw some benches down for them so they're not hanging around too much and let's have a look what temps are like it's gonna be wham over there so let's throw in a iron sculpture hmm. there outside the door lovely and inside it's yeah a little warm but they're not in there for long so it's fine Okay, let's turn that off. Nigel Biggleworth is doing a great job. Oh no, we missed a cure there. Oh god, what's happening there? Sorry. Speed up a little bit. Speed everything up, we're waiting on nurses. Looks like a nurse is heading over here. They're nearly treated. We're gonna, the problem is they're going to have to go and find something to do. Right. Your assistant, your you can get on reception, but you're going to be kind of useless. Okay, so are you, are you trained? Yeah. Okay, so looking for work. This is the problem. It's going to be really tricky to get you anything to do in it. There's no nobody to diagnose or anything. You're just going to have to let it pass around for now, I suppose, buddy. I'm afraid. Okay. Cured. Nice. Seven out of twenty. 10 patients left, so we need to... Jeez, look at this guy go. Jacinta Radish, she's on fire. Psychiatry, that's good. Um, Targets remaining. Okay, so we need to get it up to like 11 or 12 cured, isn't it, I think? All right, here's a new one. There's a dude walks in with a eight ball for a head. Where are you? Here he is, look. <laughs> How goes that? We now have a thing called the correcting pool. So um it needs to be four by three. I think we could probably throw one of these over. I always like seeing the new uh the new things. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot already, actually. There we go. We'll pop that in there. Oh, it needs a little machine to get it working. Good stuff. Pop a couple of windows in. Um fire extinguisher, because that looks like it's about to blow up any second. There we go. And a little aircon unit up in the corner there. Uh, okay, I don't think we need much else going on in here, really. Maybe a food poster, because, you know, once you've got your normal head back, you're going to go and want to eat something, aren't you? Um, we'll, go on, we'll push it up to level three, if we can. There we go. Uh, and a couple of stickers on the wall over here, just to show you how awesome they are. There we go, we're done. And a normal sticker as well. Uh, invalid item for room. Oh, interesting. Okay. Go. Now, what do you need? A doctor or... Oops, let's click the actual room so we can see. Oh, my word. I want to see the room. There we go. Stats. A doctor required. Okay, well, we've got lots of doctors. A lot of the GPs are, are free now. So, let's see if... Um, see if one of our docs will come over. Deal with that. Staff challenge. Level 5 staff room. Uh... Yeah, go on. We'll we'll work on that in a moment. Actually, we'll make a, we'll make the whole corner here a big staff room. There we go. Doc's in. Where come? Where he comes? Where he comes? Where he comes? That's uh. No, have we got two of these? Because I'm gonna want to screenshot it. Yes, there's another guy over here. Okay, let's watch what happens then. Come on in, pal. It looks like the. Oh look. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. The Q, <laughs> Q knocks it off. I like it. And he's cured. Ta-da! That's good for a new illness. Does it tell us anything about it? 
bored and cured. 66%, nice, okay. Good stuff, right, keep up the good work, chaps and chapesses. Okay, we're on about wave six or something like that. We've upgraded our room here, but we're gonna change it a little uh, because I wanna move the door over. So we're gonna move you to, oh, can we get you there? Yeah. And we can get the door that side, that's good. Okay, notice board will just move over a little. Stick another window in, why not? Because we need some space here for a DNA lab. We've got a lot of people asking for it, so it's fair enough. Uh, it's quite a useful one, the DNA lab, so I don't really mind having it down because it covers both uh, diagnoses and um, treatments as well. So I think, uh, I remember rightly, people stand there, so that's kind of where we want it. So it's nice and quick for them to get in. Fire extinguisher, don't need much in here to be honest. It already goes like way up to level two. We'll get it up to level three. Uh, and we'll be happy with it. So let's do something like that. Uh, and just a few pictures of them all, really. I, a lot of these sort of treatmenty rooms, I'm not fussed about keeping people in them because they can just sort of come in, get trained, and, and clear, you know, get cured and clear off again, you know. So not really fussed about much else happening. There we go. We'll have a notice board as well. Why not? Okay, good. Boom. Uh, we need a doctor with DNA, which we don't have. Let's have a look. Luckily, Neville Scream is on the case. There we go. Neville Scream can look after the... Uh, there's, there's two, I think. I think it's False, false Town, the the, the, uh, the Donald Trump one uh, that we mentioned in the very first episode all the way back. Uh, and we're currently sort of training up a couple of our GPs as well. And, I, and another GP body. I'm really treating this one like a, um, a proper sort of tower defense, you know. So um, each time I can, we just go plonk and put another one in. These two guys seem to be getting pretty good. They, they're getting through the receptionist pretty easily. Um, although what we will do, actually, get you... Uh, get you tr um, thingy now. Oh, my God. Scorch mark is burning a hospital. We need a janitor and a fire extinguisher. Now, I don't think we have any on the outside, do we? So, let's uh, put one there, and one there, and one there. So, there's one left, because <laughs> there, there won't be otherwise. Uh, we'll put one. Can we get one there? No, oh, I mean, that would be really good if we could put one there. Never mind. Get a few of these around, because I often forget that we need them. And they're used once as well, and I bet there isn't one in here. So, we'll get one in there. There we go. That should get, uh, there we go, Janice is already there, that was good. And those are both, although, no, no, was it only that one that stayed on fire? Okay, well in that case, let's get rid of some of these because they look a bit silly. We have a ghosty over there, Janice is going to walk straight, no, there we go, I was going to say, straight past. Training call completed, that's good, that's a couple of nice GPs we've got in there then. Is there anything else we can train? Let's have a look. Um, something like treatment three? Who can, there's only one available for treatment three. What about treatment two? Let's try and get a few people in. No, the treatment two's only got two as well. General practice. Who doesn't have general practice? Diagnostics, diagnostics, and psychiatry. Ah, well, I'll tell you what then. Let's give you treatment. And you can be a, just like a nice all round. Uh, yeah, you and a nurse. Uh, yeah, go on, let's give it you as well. Because I'm not, I haven't really been sticking people into the right places. They're kind of going wherever they're needed. Uh, and you'll see there, there's a lot of staff wandering around. But how many did we cure there? There's six still to go, 60%. We, so far, we've done it each time, but, um, whoopsie daisy, he's done that again. Uh, it's been tricky. It's been tricky. Let's see if we've got any awards. Uh, we've won it once. Yeah, come on, open all. Oh, nice. We've got Best Teaching Hospital, we've got Employer of the Year, and Rising Star. I'll take it. Chromotherapy has been requested a few times now. This is going to be a real type. I don't... The problem is we've kind of got a wasted space here if we don't use it like this. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to just go for it and just deal with this being a bit of a bottleneck here. But hopefully it'll just be one or two buildings that we have to stick along here. So, chromotherapy, once I, once I get like two or three, the problem is here is we can't really afford to send them home. Normally, if it was like two or three of them, I'd be like, eh, clear off. Uh, but here, because we've got to get that cure rate up, that, you know, it's tough. We've got to, we've got to make sure we've got, um, we've got what we need, you know. Put you there. Um, again, just usuals in here, I think. Couple of pictures. Food and eyes seem, always seem like a good combo. Couple of awards just to help get it up to that three. There we go, should do it. Good stuff. 
Uh, okay, chromotherapy for the for the couple that uh, that have it. What else we got? Staff promo. Uh, yep, yeah, go for it. And oh, a new one. Vested insects. Nice. Anything that's treated by a building we've already got is we're, we're happy. Uh, I took another guy on to learn genetics as well because we've you don't really want one person who can do genetics. You know, you want them being able to do a few different bits and bobs. So hopefully, it looks like we're doing okay. To be honest with you, ignoring this, this just looks like a relatively standard hospital now. When they first come in, it's like, Rah! oh my god, so there's like people everywhere. But once they're kind of through the door, um, it, it kind of seems to run relatively well. So I'm kind of happy with how it's going. I think the only thing I'm really doing now to keep on top of stuff is, is training people every now and again. Just making sure we've got like diagnostics one, diagnostics two. Two people can have diagnostics. Who's that? Treatment, these are nurses. It's probably quite useful for them to have that, you know. So we'll bring in Gregory Mouse for that. Um, I think other than that, it really is just kind of a keep keep on top of it, you know. It, it doesn't. It's not an interesting video it does not make, I'm afraid. Uh, haven't we literally just sent you to get trained? Ugh. Here they come. There's 55 patients. Whoa, okay. Uh, good. Uh, capture three, go share, why not? Okay, so 18 is the max Q. All right, so we're going to get up to 18, and then it just kind of goes 18, 17. Oh, no, that's a lie. Complete lie. It goes up to 20 something. Okay, <laughs> last couple, it's only been 18. Cars is covering its costs. We have so much money, it's ridiculous. But then I suppose stuff just doesn't get uh, sorted, does it? So, wow, look at the mess here. Let's, let's get some more benches down because uh, they seem to be in pretty high demand right now uh should we just do some over here i don't know whether that people will come and sit here from that far from over there i don't think i think it's a bit too far out uh i put some i put some arcade machines down uh because i, th I imagine people get pretty bored standing around for so long you know what, what are you oh you're the boxing one yeah shadow boxer i remember we've seen you you look great um monochromatic we have that now we're getting a few clowns come in um and i basically can't fit a clown room in here anywhere uh because they require a four by four room and we just we just don't have the space so i was having to think and the way I, you could maybe do it okay right that one can we get away with a four by three there no okay so do you want to stop editing this room? Yeah, okay, never mind. The way you could do it is maybe shuffle all this up one, make that three, and you could get it in the corner here, move the toilets over. Um, but otherwise, there's no way we can fit it in, and I'm just, I just not in the part in the uh, the game for moving. I, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. For opening a new area is what I was going to say. But hold on, hold on. Can we get away with you there? Okay. Yes. Can we get rid of you and you? The, the only reason I'm doing it, normally I would I would have no problem sending people home. But at the moment, we need to get that cure rate up. We could get one of these in here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, back to where you were. That's not, I mean, it's not the best placement for it. But it ain't awful, you know. Let's get a door in. The dehumifier can go where do people walk in there right okay if i extinguish because i think this thing can burn up an aircon big old aircon unit there we go uh other than that we've got there's some cool stuff in this i'm sure we are have we why have we not got this locked i could have sworn we we'd done these we will because i like them uh, and the cannon yeah okay so let's get a cannon in <laughs> I don't know if it's got like people's feet on it, like like anything happens to it. I don't think anyone actually sits in it, do they? Do they? I don't know. Some hay to come and sit on. Watch the show. Couple of lights behind you. Can we do that? Good stuff. That's a good-looking circus room. That was the only one that seems to be um, that we that we didn't have the man you know the management for. So otherwise, I think everyone else should be okay. You've not got that now. At least this scene area will be used for that GP's office. That's good. 
Every, can everyone just calm down a bit? Where, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We haven't got... We need to get assistance. Somebody's gone for a break. Let's just get the best one we can. All I want to do is get to the one star, and I'm happy. Um, okay. Smashing through the queue. That's what we like. Okay. All right, I think I think we're managing. Let's have a look. We've got nobody being cured yet. Main thing here now, really, is we, we've got the money to basically kit this place out. What do you want? Fracture ward? No. Uh, send patient home. We're going to have to risk it. We've got 55 patients. We need to cure 55% of them. So 50% uh, of 55 is 26 and, a, 26 and a half, isn't it, I suppose? Uh, 27 and a half, excuse me. So 55%. Call it 30, roughly, I reckon. We need to cure 30 of the 55 people. I think that's doable. Um, GP offices are slowly ticking up now. 8, 16, 20, 32. So, I mean, they, they've all got longer than 8, haven't they? They must have... I don't know. They maybe only can have 8 in the queue. So people just keep getting added onto the end of the queue when they need you. But some of them are going straight into curing. That's what we like. Look at that. Get yourself in there, son. It's been a while since I've had one of these on the go. Oh, it's all miserable. <laughs> Did you get cured? Yeah. Nice. See, pharmacy and these two here. Let's see. Is there a nurse with some decent uh, diagnosis? No, uh, not really. What's that one? Motivation. I guess you could go in there. You're not great, but you'll do. Don't really want to have like empty rooms at the moment i'd rather have too many staff um that's definitely the way i'd rather go with it we're nearly there um i reckon one more cure out of these 12 and we've done it we're currently on 53 percent cure rate ah there we go yes oh wow we had a little run there um of a few 56 percent cure rate right so we've just got to finish the wave and we're done uh, i've enjoyed this one although i think it could do with a little bit of tweaking um when when it gets to like this point five or six left and they're all in the later stages of being cured or whatever personally the next wave could come in for me because i think that would make it quite tricky because otherwise you can just like i've done here throw all your staff into to there rinse and repeat you know so i think it'd actually be pretty good if the next wave started to come in just as you know don't even give you the week in between maybe that'll happen for uh, stars two and three but uh, i don't know I, I play this game relatively um casually to be honest with you so I, i'm once i've got a star on a hospital i'm kind of happy uh, i feel like i've seen the new content i've really enjoyed this one actually i think i enjoyed this a little bit more than i enjoyed bigfoot i really enjoyed that second hospital with the um the sort of opening the levels up by by performing different uh, different tasks that was uh, that was pretty fun and this one as well it's nice to see them trying new stuff although like i say i think it could be tweaked a little um to get it right but yeah really interesting mechanic and it's really nice to uh, to see them still developing for it and not just you know oh here's 10 new illnesses and you know they, they're actually trying and coming up with new stuff i think it's really good uh dna lab good stuff go for it I don't really mind. You've got, I've got four of you left. I just really want to get a star and see what I've won, and then I'm happy to call it a day. This might be a little bit of a longer episode because I've, I'm going to have to chop it up a little bit, so I don't really know how long I've re been recording. Well, I know I've been recording for nearly two and a half hours, <laughs> um, but how much of that I'm actually talking and, and, and playing the game and not just kind of letting it tick over and stuff, uh, I don't know. So this may well be a bit of a longer episode, but I do hope you've enjoyed this little mini-series of uh, the DLC. If you want to see more of the DLC, if you want to see somebody really go deep into it uh, and do each hospital three stars and, and really play the game very well, I really would recommend a YouTuber by the name of Paulsley. Uh, plays a lot of awesome stuff, similar sort of stuff to us, um, but uh, but yeah, really dives in to two point hard. Uh, so I'd really recommend him. A screwball poster and a wicker sofa. Nice stuff. Um, congratulations, it's clear to me a Simpleton wouldn't understand this piece of Pantonian mythology I was not described literally I'm deeply concerned that uh, uh, it should fall for me to inform you that when the legend speaks of reinvigoration it speaks figuratively and not of a magic potion, all the same you found it for some reason, enjoy your pretty, albeit totally ordinary bit of water, nice continue to muck around in the ruins for more rewards or return to the mainland and get back to work uh, I think we'll have a look at the map then there we go 
If you had told me that we'd find the treasure we so eagerly saw, only to find that a myth largely predicted on hearsay and dusty old bits of paper, uh, predicated, excuse me, on dusty bits of paper, wasn't totally factual or literal, I'd have assumed that I'd be disappointed, humiliated even. Instead, I confess I'm rather tickled. I did like it there, lovely views and so on. There's a lesson to be learned, I'm sure, but I'd rather move on immediately to something else. Now, Giles, let's get home and start work on that time machine. Oh, that was good fun. Yeah, definitely. And obviously, you know, you can do all of these three stars, and we haven't really got halfway through the main game, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out Paul's Lee if you want to see it go a little bit further in depth. And of course, don't forget to check out all the other stuff we've got here on the channel as well. Look at that. We've got 15 stars. Boom, boom, boom. We've got lots of kudos to spend. Oh, and 50 doxers. Nice. Woo! All the kudos. Awesome source. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back in Two Point Hospital if they release any new contents, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. Fancy a chat. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the uh, conversation, you can do over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you to all of our patrons. They make these videos possible through their generous support at patreon.com slash geekism. And don't forget to check out our affiliate links to get yourself some cheap games and other goodies while supporting the channel at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.